here we go and it is time for another sprint zone this one is for 4 2 2024 and we've got a moderately sized group as we look at the camera view from scott polia once again I'd like to thank him for his telemetry and film as we head into this one and as always or usual i've got 30 second power of his and mine on the top and then our instantaneous power and, and the bottom with the heart rate. And we're into the sprint zone and, you know, there is not a sense of urgency today. I don't know why, but it's okay. But we've got strong heavy hitters there. We see Mr. Mellinger and we've got Steve Hyland there looking strong as always. I've seen Wolfgang up there. We've got Brian, Dean, etc as we start to get the party started. And looking at our 30 second power and in today's power into the 200s, no picnic here. And it's a slight cross run coming off of our left shoulder. We, so we can see way in the distance in the day glow yellow, it would be Byron Besserell, AKA Superman waiting for us no doubt having dropped off of the TTH ride after his little warm-up. That's right, I said it, using the TTH ride for a warm-up because this is where the real action is. And we can see in Scott's camera as he pulls him in and the game is definitely afoot. 30 second power above 250 for me. Don't know why Scott's is like lower. That's interesting because he was up at the front. Maybe I'm just pushing a lot of wind. Maybe that camera pushes a lot of wind. I don't know. But I digress. Instantaneous power kicking up. And this is going to create a little bit of a selection. You can see Wolfgang going to the front up there. And nicely going into the usage of more road to create a little bit of an echelon. And for those of you who are like, you're lacking traffic, well, take a look at my camera. There's nobody back there, so I think this is fine. Nice shot of the nice echelon up there as I slot into one of the final positions there that is protected. Wolfgang slots out, and then Brian takes over. And he's not as aware, maybe, because I just lost my slot in the echelon. And I let Wolfgang get in there because, well, he's done work. And it's wrong to have people go all the way back and find themselves gutted, especially when they're willing to do work. Mr. Hyland in the purple there, a different color for him, going up and to assume a spot higher in the selection. Brian up there doing a good job, pulls off, and we are a ramming and a thumping. And at this point, I believe we have a little bit of respite, a little bit of a tailwind. But the selection has been made with it looks like Mr. Mellinger and Marcelo with the final piece there. But they're still slightly back. I have no doubt that Mr. Mellinger will easily bridge to this group. But the rest of us are unconcerned because a selection has been made. Looking rearward, people still chasing. It looks like Marcelo starting to fall off there. And for good reason, this is high tempo up here. And if you're not in contention, it is difficult to bridge that gap, even though people are just a few feet in front of you. Nice shot of Steve there in, in my camera. And I was right on Steve's wheel, and this is a good move. And I probably should have just stayed in the echelon and just like coasted, but I thought, okay, we're going to go for this one. And it was a little bit of work to try to pull him back. He is strong. And even with a little bit of shelter coming off of him at this distance, some serious watts were thrown out. And you can see my 30 second power above 370 there. So that was a quite an effort for me to pull him back. And I'm trying to recover here. And we see Mr. Mellinger easily pulls everybody back. We got Scott on his wheel. Looks like Wolfgang. And we got Brian slotting back there. It looks like Dean. We got Byron. And yes, I believe the final selection, or at least the current selection, has been made. Nice shot of me struggling. And now I am not forced, but I feel with etiquette, I'm going to take over the front slot here. And hopefully we're going to get a little bit of a rotation going. 
Good shot of Mr. Mellinger as he easily comes to the front, and I am happy here, and he rolls over. So he's looking for a nice circular rotation so that no one has any advantage here, and I'm happy for that. Got good shelter. I feel I'm in good company, and yep, here's the selection, and Byron in, in the rear pulling that one through. Dean looking strong there. Scott at the front, and I think we've got a nice rotation here. Looks like Wolfgang at the front pushing hard. You can see his jacket flopping a little bit. It's a little bit of a parachute. So look for a little more strength from Wolfgang as soon as the summer season arises and he doesn't have to have that coat on. Good power. 30 seconds still. My instantaneous power above 400. Scott's above 500 as Steve makes an attack. This was painful as I recall. And he was definitely putting people into difficulty. I find myself on the tail end of the kite here, unable to get any real shelter and forced to do my own work. As you can see, my 30 second power was above 300 there. Scott's is only around 270 and maybe that is the difference between the bikes. Everybody with these deep dish wheels, aero bikes, and it can make quite a difference. I chose to use my comfortable bike today because I just wanted to be comfortable. Byron comes up to give me shelter and it is welcome, but still way above my FTP at this point and we are hitting it hard. My heart rate's increasing, Scott's is up there above mine, but I don't really believe mine because it's the wrist heart rate monitor. <sighs> Nice echelon. Steve pushing hard at the front. And if you are in the echelon, life is good. If you are not, it is not so good. And I am not recovering here. And even behind Byron, and as Matthew Michaels used to complain, Byron doesn't give any draft. Well, he does give some draft. But I can see it's a lot of work. And his draft isn't as good as if I were slotted in into the echelon there. I was hoping to get a small echelon going with perhaps me Byron and Dean, but Dean jumped up there and grabbed the final slot in the big echelon, which is cool. I would have done that too, but now I am hurting, and I see this little grade coming up, and I know this is going to be painful trying to recover here, but 30-second power is still above 200, which means my probably couple-minute power is up there, and I, at this point, can't maintain contact. 400 plus watts you can see the difference like scott being in the echelon his power was much less than mine sitting back here and I, I, maybe i have to write some code or something like that to get an, uh, an aggregate power for the whole the whole section but at this point it is adios for me scott going to the front and if i could only have been up there scott's power only 178 as he recovers switching over to scott's camera and i have my view in the upper Right, I wave adios to the boys as they push hard. Looking at my power, looking at Scott's power, had I been in the echelon, I might have been able to sit in. You know, our power isn't that dissimilar, at least for the point of if I was sitting in, life would be good. But I digress. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Wolfgang looking strong coming through there with that flapping parachute of a jacket. Mr. Mellinger, his kit fitting nicely as he's comfortable, comfortable sitting on the wheel there. Scott has a nice position here in third slot as we crest towards the final, final bit of sprint zone here. His heart rate increasing and, and the power must be going up. I can see instantaneous by Scott and here I believe he is going to go for it. Mr. Mellinger maintaining a nice smooth tempo, no attack here just steady good work here and now Scott goes for it I saw 800 watts there as he pushes for the summit 600 watts and looking at his 30 second power at his increasing 490 500 and I don't see anybody in in contention here not like the previous week when Jacob snuck up there and nipped him for that one 170 beats per minute for Scott, and it looks like he is going to crest it as the winner there as he shuts it down with zero watts. Well done, Scott. Well done. Nice job, everybody. That was fun. I just wish I could have actually been there. Maybe I should take my own words. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, but I like my comfortable bike. A good time. A good time was had by all.
Very nice, everyone. Very nice. I can't wait to do this again next week. Speeds are definitely getting faster. Everybody getting faster. Tactics getting better. And that was good. Nice work in that echelon there. That was sweet. That shows seasoned riders knowing how to ride. Nice attacks by Steve, keeping everybody honest there. Yeah, I, I enjoy I enjoy watching and riding with good riders. With that being said, peace out, everybody, until next week. <laughs>